The Jeopardy guest hosting of Ken Jennings is almost gone. Meet Mike Richards, our new guest host. As a guest host, Ken Jennings has stepped up to take Alex Trebek's enormous shoes. However, it appears that his tenure is coming to an end and a new guest host has taken over. Many journalists and talk show hosts, including past contestants, have tried their hand at hosting Jeopardy as guest hosts since the late great Alex Trebek passed out. Even though there have been other contenders, Ken Jennings has already left a lasting effect and produced a number of memorable incidents, including the time one participant made fun of him. The show's organizers announced a new hosting schedule, which stated that Jennings' run as a guest presenter is coming to an end and that a new host will carry on the tradition. In his brief stint as a guest host, Jennings, who was formerly a contestant on Jeopardy, Party, and is still the show's greatest of all time with the longest winning streak, has won over fans. Mike Richards, the executive producer of Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, is his replacement. Richards has a wealth of experience and is knowledgeable about the show's history. For over 10 years, Richards has also served as an executive producer for the television shows Let's Make a Deal and The Price is Right. Because of his skill, he received 17 Emmy nominations and three wins. The total earnings of all competitors who compete during the guest host's stay will be given. Thanks to his extensive background, Richards was recently featured as an executive producer on the 2020 season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Richards has expertise hosting reality shows and series in addition to her work in production. The dates of his show's airing are set for February 22, 2021, to March 5, 2021. Richards referred to his hosting role as the honor of his life in response to the announcement, thinking back to the moments he spent seeing Alex Trebek's charismatic hosting. Richard said in a post that he developed a positive relationship with Trebek toward the end of his life and got to know the late show host better. He disclosed that despite his deteriorating health, Trebek was deeply worried about the show and fervently wanted things to return to normal. As the executive producer, Richard supposedly made the announcement of Trebek's passing in a statement after the veteran program host passed away. He referred to Trebek as an icon in the business and said that everyone was fortunate to have had 37 years to witness his incredible talent. Reports state that Jeopardy! will give a sizable donation to the charity of each guest host's choice for their attendance. The total earnings of all competitors who compete during the guest host stay will be given. Hello everyone welcome back to my channel, it's me Mila, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So let's dive into today's video. Kenneth Wayne Jennings IE, born on May 23, 1974, is a multifaceted American personality known for his roles as a game show host, author, and former contestant. Notably. Jennings holds the title of the highest-earning American game show contestant, having accumulated winnings across five different game shows. His most prominent achievement came from his remarkable performance on the iconic U.S. game show Jeopardy, where he amassed a staggering $4,522,700. From 2021 to 2023, Jennings, along with Mayim Bialik, took turns hosting Jeopardy and its celebrity spin-off, Celebrity Jeopardy. In recognition of his hosting prowess, Jennings received a nomination for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Host for a Game Show in 2023. Later that year, he was appointed as the permanent main host of Jeopardy, solidifying his place in the show's history. Jennings' legacy on Jeopardy is marked by his unprecedented winning streak of 74 consecutive victories, a record that still stands today. Additionally, he boasts the highest average correct responses per game in the show's history, further cementing his status as a trivia virtuoso. Beyond his triumphs on Jeopardy, Jennings has excelled in various other game show competitions, continually adding to his impressive winnings. 
His accomplishments include victories in prestigious tournaments such as the Jeopardy, Ultimate Tournament of Champions and Jeopardy, the greatest of all time. Outside of the game show arena, Jennings is also an accomplished author, offering insights into trivia culture and his personal experiences in his book, Brainiac, Adventures in the Curious, Competitive, Compulsive World of Trivia Buffs, published in 2006. Through his diverse talents and accomplishments, Kenneth Jennings I.I. has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment and trivia. Born on May 23, 1974, Kenneth Wayne Jennings I.I. hails from Edmonds, Washington, a suburb of Seattle. His early years were marked by unique experiences, as his father's profession led the family to spend 15 years residing in South Korea and Singapore. After returning to the United States, Jennings pursued higher education at the University of Washington. Following a two-year stint as a volunteer missionary for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Madrid, Spain, he transferred to Brigham Young University in 1996. Notably, Jennings shared accommodation with renowned author Brandon Sanderson during his time at BYU. Additionally, he actively participated in the school's quiz bowl team, eventually assuming the role of captain. In 2000, Jennings graduated from Brigham Young University with a double major in English and computer science. Prior to 2003 Jeopardy, contestants were restricted to a maximum of five consecutive wins. However, at the commencement of the show's 20th season in 2003, a pivotal rule change occurred, allowing contestants to remain on the show indefinitely as long as they kept winning. Kenneth Jennings' historic winning streak commenced during Jeopardy's 20th season, starting with the episode aired on June 2, 2004. In his debut episode, Jennings narrowly avoided defeat when his final Jeopardy response regarding the first female track and field athlete to win medals in five different events at a single Olympics was initially ambiguous. Host Alex Trebek ultimately accepted his answer, allowing Jennings to continue his remarkable run. Throughout his streak, Jennings faced interruptions due to the off-season break, Kids Week, the Tournament of Champions, the 2004 United States presidential election, and the college championship. Despite these breaks, he remained undefeated for an astonishing five months. Notably, Jennings did not participate in the Tournament of Champions, as invitations were typically extended only to champions with four or more wins who had been defeated, with exceptions made for winners of the college championship. On November 30, 2004, Kenneth Jennings' extraordinary reign as Jeopardy! Champion came to an end when he faced challenger Nancy Zerg in his 75th game. Despite his remarkable run, Jennings stumbled in this final match, responding incorrectly to both double Jeopardy, daily doubles, and losing a combined $10,200. This left him with $14,400 going into the final Jeopardy round, where, for only the 10th time in 75 games, he did not hold an insurmountable lead. Facing off against Zverg in Final Jeopardy, Jennings seemed momentarily stumped by the clue in the business and industry category, while Zerg swiftly penned her response. Zerg answered correctly with what is H and R block, and wagered $4,401, securing a narrow lead over Jennings. Unfortunately for Jennings, his response of what is FedEx proved incorrect, resulting in a final score of $8,799 after deducting his $5,601 wager. Despite the loss, Jennings graciously acknowledged Zerg as a formidable opponent, and she went on to finish in third place on the subsequent show. The audience, recognizing the significance of the moment, gave both contestants a standing ovation with host Alex Trebek praising Zerg as a giant killer as Jennings embraced her. Jennings' remarkable journey spanned 182 calendar days, during which his 75 matches were broadcast. His final match, along with the emotional aftermath, 
can be viewed on the 2005 DVD release of Jeopardy, an inside look at America's favorite quiz show, distributed by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. During Kenneth Jennings' remarkable run on Jeopardy, the show implemented backstage changes to level the playing field for new contestants. Typically, players had only a short time to practice with the buzzers, but more rehearsal time was added to help newcomers get comfortable with this crucial aspect of the game. Additionally, the individual responsible for managing the buzzer system was replaced. In his book Brainiac, Jennings noted that the original manager's consistent timing had provided an increasing advantage to returning players. He observed that the change made a noticeable difference in the show's dynamics during his second season. At one point, announcer Johnny Gilbert ceased announcing Jennings' total wins during the show's opening segment. On December 1, 2004, the day following his defeat, Jennings made a guest appearance at the beginning of the broadcast. Host Alex Trebek acknowledged Jennings' remarkable success and listed the various game show records he had shattered. According to Nielsen TV National People Meter Ratings, Jeopardy's viewership surged by 22% during Jennings' run compared to the same period the previous year. For several weeks of his winning streak, Jeopardy! ranked as TV's highest-rated syndicated program. By the end of Jeopardy!'s 20th season, the show had even surpassed its sister program Wheel of Fortune in the ratings, although Wheel continued to benefit from Jennings' streak especially in markets where Jeopardy! served as its lead-in, a common scheduling tactic for both shows. On December 28, 2004, Sumi announced the Jeopardy! Ultimate Tournament of Champions, spanning 15 weeks and comprising 75 shows. This unique event gathered champions from the Tournament of Champions, College Championship, Teen Tournament, and over 100 five-time champions from the show's 21-year history. The tournament aimed to provide past champions with another opportunity to showcase their skills under the new rule, allowing contestants to continue playing until defeated. Kenneth Jennings, along with other past champions, participated in the tournament, with Jennings automatically placed in the finals. The ultimate tournament of champions offered significant cash prizes, including a grand prize of $2 million for the winner, $500,000 for the first runner-up, and $250,000 for the second runner-up, with guaranteed prize money for all contestants. In the final round, Brad Rutter emerged victorious, decisively defeating Jennings and Jerome Verde. Jennings secured the $500,000 prize for second place. Although Rudder temporarily surpassed Jennings as the highest overall winner of money on gang shows, Jennings expressed satisfaction with his second-place finish. In February 2011, Jeopardy! hosted the IBM Challenge, pitting Watson, an artificial intelligence system, against Jennings and Rudder in a historic man-versus-machine competition. Watson emerged victorious, winning $1 million for charity, with Jennings finishing second and Rudder third, each donating half of their winnings to charity. In 2014, Jeopardy! aired the Battle of the Decades tournament, where Jennings reached the finals alongside Rudder and Roger Craig, securing second place and a $100,000 prize. In the 2019 Jeopardy! All-Star Games, Jennings served as one of six captains, leading his team to a second-place finish, earning him $100,000 and bringing his lifetime Jeopardy! related winnings to $3,522,700. In January 2020, ABC aired the Jeopardy! Greatest of All Time Tournament, featuring Jennings, Rudder, and James Holzhauer. Jennings emerged as the champion, earning the title of Greatest of All Time and a $1 million prize. On October 29, 2020, Alex Trebek recorded his final episode of Jeopardy. Plans were made for him to miss the subsequent taping on November 9 to 10, 2020, due to planned surgery. Ken Jennings was named the interim host for these tapings, and he had a final conversation with Trebek shortly before rehearsals were set to begin. However, 
Rehearsals were canceled on November 8, 2020, when the staff learned of Trebek's passing from stage 4 pancreatic cancer. Following Alex Trebek's death on November 23, 2020, it was announced that Ken Jennings would host Jeopardy! as the first in a series of guest hosts. His episodes aired from January 11 to February 19, 2021. In September 2021, after Mike Richards' departure early in the show's 38th season due to various controversies, it was revealed that Ken Jennings, along with actress Mayim Bialik, would host the show for the remainder of the season. Jennings would exclusively host the daily syndicated series. In July 2022, it was announced that Jennings and Bialik would share full-time hosting duties, starting with the show's 39th season. Jennings also made a guest appearance as a clue giver on Celebrity Jeopardy on ABC in October 2022. In January 2023, Jennings was announced as the host for Jeopardy! Masters, a primetime tournament featuring notable Jeopardy! champions. The program premiered on May 8, 2023, following Bialik's withdrawal from Jeopardy! In May 2023, due to Hollywood labor disputes, Jennings hosted the remaining episodes of season 39. Additionally, he was announced as the host for the second season of Celebrity Jeopardy! In September 2023, Jennings received a nomination for Outstanding Host for a Game Show at the 75th Primetime Emmy Awards. Following Bialik's departure, Jennings became the permanent sole host of Jeopardy!, starting with the 40th season. Taking advantage of the notoriety surrounding Ken Jennings' final Jeopardy! answer, H&R Block extended an offer of free tax planning and financial services for the rest of his life. According to estimates by H&R Block Senior Vice President David Byers, Jennings owed approximately $1.04 million in taxes on his winnings. In addition, BBDO ran an advertisement for FedEx in USA Today, three days after Jennings' final game, congratulating him for his streak and emphasizing that there was only one time FedEx had been the wrong answer. In a 2011 Reddit Ask Me Anything AMA session, Jennings recounted how Democratic politicians Chuck Schumer and Harry Reid had approached him in 2004 about running for the United States Senate from Utah, although he declined. He humorously remarked, That was when I realized the Democratic Party was at hashtag dollar ed in 04. Jennings is an accomplished author, having penned several books. Brainiac, Adventures in the Curious, Competitive, Compulsive World of Trivia Buffs, details his experiences on Jeopardy! and his subsequent exploration of trivia culture. Ken Jennings' Trivia Almanac, 8,888 questions in 365 days, is a compilation of trivia questions structured for daily use. Other works include Math Head, Charting the Wide, Weird World of Geography Wonks, and Because I Said So, a humorous examination of common parental wisdom. He has also authored five books in his children's series, Junior Genius Guides. Additionally, Jennings had a column in Mental Floss magazine titled Six Degrees of Ken Jennings, where readers submitted two disparate subjects for him to connect in exactly six steps, akin to the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon game. This column ran from November 2005 to the September-October 2010 issue. Jennings ventured into television production, teaming up with television producer Michael Davies as executive producers on a new game show format for Comedy Central. Initially planned to premiere in late 2005 or early 2006, the series was put on hold due to changes in Comedy Central's programming strategy. Jennings has also appeared on various shows, including The Colbert Report and NPR's Wait Wait, Don't Tell Me. In 2020, Jennings narrated the audiobook version of Alex Trebek's autobiography, The Answer Is, which earned a nomination for the Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album at the 63rd Grammy Awards. 
Ken Jennings has made numerous appearances on various game shows and television programs beyond his iconic run on Jeopardy. In 2006, he participated as a mob member on the NBC game show 1 vs. 100, where he notably answered a question incorrectly, eliminating himself from the game. He later returned for a special Last Man Standing episode in 2007, but was once again eliminated. In 2007, Jennings competed on the game show Grand Slam, winning the tournament and becoming the 2007 Grand Slam champion. He earned $100,000 for his victory. Additionally, Jennings appeared on an episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? in 2008, where he opted not to answer the million-dollar question despite having surpassed Brad Rutter's total game show winnings. From 2008 to 2009, Jennings was a regular on the trivia game Stump the Master on GSN, where he answered questions from home viewers. He also made appearances on Doug Benson's podcast, Doug Loves Movies, and served as an expert on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire's Ask the Expert Lifeline. Jennings continued to make game show appearances over the years, including on Millionaire, Pyramid, and 500 Questions. He also won an episode of At Midnight in 2017, earning him the title of funniest person on the internet for that day. In addition to his game show appearances, Jennings served as one of the trivia experts on Best Ever Trivia Show and its successor, Masterminds, which premiered in 2019 and 2020, respectively. He also joined the ABC revival of The Chase as one of the chasers alongside Brad Rutter and James Holzhauer. Outside of game shows, Jennings competed on Celebrity Wheel of Fortune in 2023, winning $72,800 for the Equal Justice Initiative. Ken Jennings, despite his success and popularity, has faced several controversies related to his Twitter activity. In September 2014, he received criticism for a tweet perceived as insensitive towards people with disabilities. This resurfaced in 2020, drawing further condemnation from disability rights activists. Similarly, in November 2015, Jennings faced backlash for a tweet making light of the death of a Star Wars fan battling cancer, whose dying wish was to see the latest Star Wars film. Another incident occurred in May 2017 when Jennings tweeted a joke involving Baron Trump, the youngest son of former President Donald Trump. The tweet sparked controversy, with Jennings later explaining that it was not meant to mock Barron, but to criticize the political exploitation of children. In August 2018, Jennings faced criticism for describing an elderly woman on Twitter in a derogatory manner. He referred to her as MAGA grandma, prompting accusations of insensitivity. Acknowledging the fallout from his past comments, Jennings issued an apology on Twitter in December 2020 and deleted the controversial tweets. However, in January 2021, he found himself embroiled in controversy again when he defended his friend and podcast co-host, John Roderick, whose Twitter thread about parenting methods caused outrage due to its perceived cruelty. Reports surfaced in August 2021, suggesting that Jennings was initially considered as Alex Trebek's successor on Jeopardy. However, his social media controversies reportedly damaged his standing, with concerns about potential backlash from audiences and executives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Your opinions matter, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.